All right, chapter nine, problem 12. In problem 12, um, this diagram isn't the exact diagram for problem 12, but we've got the bridge coming across. We have the weight of the bridge. We have a force on the hinge. And then there's no tension in, this, in the um, wire on problem 12. In fact, the bridge is resting on the opposite shore. And the real question is, what is the force on the shore on the opposite side? We've got the force on the hinge, we've got the force on the shore, and we've got the weight of the bridge. And those are the only forces at play at the moment. All right. Um, so what fraction of the weight is supported by the opposite shore at the point of support is directly beneath the cable attachment? So let's look at the equation for the torques. All the torques have to sign up to zero, add up to zero. And let's take the hinge as the pivot point because that takes one of the forces out of play and leaves us with just the weight of the bridge and the force on the opposite shore. So the weight of the bridge, mg, times its distance from the hinge, 1.5 meters, that is a negative torque because it is a clockwise motion. Right? And then the force from the opposite shore times the 9 meters to the hinge is a positive torque. All that adds up to zero. What we're left with is um, F the shore is um, mg times 1.5 over 9. Right? 1.5 over 9. So this is... Um, pardon me. Um, so let's go 1.5 divided by 9 is 0.167 or 16.7 percent and the question was um, what fraction of the weight is supported by the opposite shore right and so we can just from here uh, conclude 16.7 percent right all right what is the direction and magnitude of the force the hinges exert on the bridge under these circumstances? Okay, so now we're going to look at the sum of the forces. We've got the force up here, we've got a force up here, and we have the weight down here, right? And the sum of all these forces adds to zero because the bridge isn't going anywhere. All right, let's just put this with part A now. Part B, the sum of the forces. So that gives us F at the hinge, right? Minus mg plus mg times 1.5 over 9, right? Equals 0. Okay, so F the hinge is um, equal to mg. 1 minus 1.5 over 9 right, equals 2,500 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared right, times 1 minus right, 0.833 equals 500 times 9.8 times 0.833 is 20,408 or 20,410 newtons. 20,410s 20, newtons upward. Okay, and that would be it for problem 12.